Science Museum. Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the museum. This way, children. Follow me. Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes. yes. Good. Then you know that in a museum you can look but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today, we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy. Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow, now it's easy. <gasps> My goodness, how does that work? Well, it's... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes. That's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? I am here. Where? I can't see you. Let's find the end of the tube. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Or maybe in the future, this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? <laughs> magic balloons! Get your magic balloons here! Are they really magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please! All we need to do is rub it like this and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic, but static. How does it work? No idea. Protons are said to have a charge of plus one electron unit, while electrons have a charge of minus one. Which explains static. What does that bang? Hello, children! Here is Grumpy Rabbit. Now it's time for some dangerous science. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. There is a responsible adult in charge. Me. Who wants to ride in this rocket? Me, me, me. Pepper, kindly jump in. Um, are you sure this is completely safe? Of course it's safe. Now, Pepper, put your hands against mine. On the count of three, push. One, two, three, push! Wow! I'm moving! Yes! That's called propulsion! Ah! But real rockets use rocket fuel to blast off. Who wants to fly in this rocket? Me! It has to be someone small. There's not much room inside. I'm small! Perfect. In you get, Edmund. And uh, this is completely safe for children, too? Yes. The rocket just flies itself. No, I meant... Off you go. Oh, my goodness! Woohoo! <laughs> Lucky the museum has a high ceiling. <laughs> That is how rocket propulsion works. That was fun! It was brilliant! It was, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> Pepper loves the science museum. Everyone loves the science museum. Paper aeroplanes. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye-bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for 
everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George <laughs> likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. <laughs> we know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Ooh. Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George. Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Pig. Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. Uh, that might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Boat Yard. Pepper, George and Granny Pig are going out for a day on Grandpa Pig's boat. Ahoy there, Pepper and George. We're ready to go sailing. I'll move the boat a bit nearer. Careful you don't. That's a mooring post. I won't hit it. Oh. Grandpa, there's a big hole in your boat. It's just a scratch. Ooh, Grandpa's boat is sinking. Quick, Grandpa Pig, jump off. A captain never leaves his sinking ship. Grandpa Pig's boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. It is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! 
Lovely day for a sail. Um, yes. Ahoy there. I'm taking my boat to the boatyard today. Going to get a few repairs done. Uh, would you mind taking my boat to the boatyard too, please? Of course. Where is your boat? Um, I'm standing on it. Oh, oh has it sunk? Uh, well, a little bit. I'm surprised your boat didn't sink a long time ago. What? It's a better boat than that rust bucket of yours. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are very best friends. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! <laughs> Grandad Dog's truck has lifted Grandpa Pig's boat out of the water. Wow! Next stop, the boatyard! What's a boatyard? A boatyard, Pepper, is where broken boats get mended. This is Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Ahoy there, me hearties! Ahoy there, Grampy Rabbit! Ooh, who did that to your boat, Grandpa Pig? Um, someone drove it into a mooring post. It went crash and made a big hole there. You should never let other people steer your boat, Grandpa Pig. Uh, yes. Can you mend it? Of course. I just need to size up the damage. Grampy Rabbit is measuring the hole in Grandpa Pig's boat. Now I need to find something to patch it up. It must be good to know how to mend a boat. Oh, it takes years to learn how to mend a boat. How long have you been mending boats? Years. Grampy Rabbit has collected lots of scrap metal to mend boats with. Now this is a gold mine. It's a pile of rubbish. Ah, uh, but you can make things from piles of rubbish. Like what? Like submarines. Wow. Grampy Rabbit has made a submarine out of rubbish. Does it actually work? Watch this. It fills up with water, uh, so it's very good at going down, but not so good at coming back up. Now this is what I've been looking for. It's a washing machine. It's the fix for Grandpa Pig's boat, is what it is. You're going to mend my boots with a bit of washing machine? Yes! That's as good as new! Hooray! Now we test it. Prepare for launch! Hi! Amazing! It floats! You sound surprised. Yes, usually they sink on the first go. Now we can go for our day on the river. What a splendid idea. This is the life out on a boat with just the sea and the sky. I know a song about the sea and the sky. Uh, do you want to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Pepper and her family have come to the summer fate. <laughs> <laughs> Look! A display of rescue vehicles. Grandad Dog is showing his pickup truck. <laughs> this is the sound my pickup truck makes. <laughs> Mummy Sheep is showing the fire engine. <laughs> this is the sound the fire engine makes. And Miss Rabbit is showing her rescue helicopter. This is the sound my helicopter makes. Helicopter reversing. Helicopter reversing. Ooh. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> OK, hop in. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no room for me. Never mind. I'll watch from the ground. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Wee-hee! We're going up in the air. Yes, it can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. Whee! Oh. It can even loop the loop. Whoa! <laughs> poor Daddy, he's missing all the fun. Yes, poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land. 
now. Emergency! Emergency! Calling rescue helicopter! I'm on my way! You're in luck! We've got a job to do! Mr Bull is digging up the road. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit! I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting. OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet. What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up and down and round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Break down recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello? Fire service? I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. Whoa! Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. <laughs> the fire engine. Mummy Pig is dressed as a fireman. Mummy, why are you dressed like that? I'm going to the Mummy's fire engine practice. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat. Well, what are you doing today, Daddy Pig? I've got a very important meeting with the Daddy's football team. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around. We're having a barbecue as well. Here are Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Oh, is Daddy Pig coming out to play? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we see the fire engine? Yes. Oh, goody! <laughs> <laughs> This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Hello, Pepper and George. Come and see the fire engine. Wow! Fire engine! There's a ladder for climbing, a hose for squirting water and a big bell to ring. Ding dong! Ding dong! <laughs> now, let's go up the tower and look for fires. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Pepper. Hello, Hello, George. Ah, oh, who's for a nice cup of tea and a chat? That sounds nice. Ooh, a telephone. Papa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig! 
You're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! 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 Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy's to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yay! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The, the Mummy's Fire Engine Service. <laughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> I love fire engines, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going on a school camp. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't feel very well. The bus is very bumpy. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is feeling a bit travel sick. Poor Pedro. Come and sit in the front with me. <laughs> there. Is that better? A little bit. Madam Gazelle. Oh, do you feel sick too, Zoe? I might feel sick later. Can I sit at the front just in case? <coughs> Can I sit at the front too? And, and me! me. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, children. You can't all sit at the front. Oh, never mind. We're at the campsite now. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Happy camping, everyone. Bye-bye. This is our campsite. Breathe in the wonderful fresh air, children. <gasps> Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. Children. You must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK, good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha-ha. <laughs> you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful. It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, 
Let's all sing a song. Yes! yes. The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing Bong, bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good, Good night, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <coughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <coughs> Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <coughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the bing bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Pirate Island. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and her friends for a day out on his boat. Everyone on board. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. Full sail. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are all wearing life jackets. George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. Ooh. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! <laughs> Here we are. Pirate Island. Hooray! What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Ooh. Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Hooray! Let's find some more. Ah, we found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness, this piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh dear, that is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boat. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> what a splendid castle. Hooray! <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny. Oh, no. 
Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig! Wake up! Wake up! Oh no, Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. <laughs> and we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Oh, where am I? Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Have you had a nice time? Yes. Uh, uh, actually, I just left something behind. Back in a tick. Look! There's Grandpa. We're saved! Hooray! Welcome aboard, me hearties. Naughty Grandpa Pig. We thought you'd left us behind. Sorry about that, Granny Pig. Next time, I promise not to fall asleep. <laughs> Bye, Pirate Island. See you again soon. I love Pirate Island. Can we visit it again? Oh, oh of course we can, Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs>